All right, everybody. No more tomfoolery on this channel. No more kidding myself. No more playing around. It's time to get down to business and talk about our feet and how to take care of them when we play disc golf. This is Gilly's Disc Golf. Welcome back. So, your feet. Let's talk about them. They deserve to be taken care of as they touch literally everywhere that you step and they take you everywhere you go. Your feet are how you feel the ground and how you connect with the earth. So that's how you get everywhere. That's how you play disc golf the right way. It all starts at your feet. So let's talk about the shoes you should wear to take care of your feet. When I go and play disc golf, I typically see a couple different options of shoes that people might have on their feet. And the first one and the most common one are Vans. They have a vulcanized sole. It's easy to feel the ground and they're a pretty common lifestyle shoe. They just feel good to wear and a lot of people like them. You can see a couple different touring pros use them. I know Drew Gibson uses them and I think Chris Dickerson recently made the switch to wearing Vans on tour. So that's an option you can go for and um, you can definitely see how disc golf and skateboarding both have affected the bottom of my shoe. You can see that it's definitely kind of worn out a little bit over time. Now this is not the most worn out of a shoe that I've seen. In fact, I've seen Vans being way more worn out on the bottom um, from playing disc golf than this one. But this shoe has lasted me quite a while for skating and playing disc golf, but I'd like to save it a little bit so that I can still wear it for comfort reasons. So let's move on to the next shoe that you see everywhere, and I mean everywhere in the disc golf world. In fact, I remember when this shoe came out, I thought I was going to like poop a brick from how excited I got. There had finally been a shoe made that people were using for disc golf. The Adidas Terex. Yeah, the Adidas Terex. So I've been wearing these for not even a full year now. And bam, look at that. Even on the side there, all scraped up, like part of the bottom of the sole was missing here. Um, all of this has been ground down from just scraping over time. Um, but yeah, I guess it kind of tells on me that I rotate on my on my toes instead of on my heel, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, there's Adidas Terex. And I want you to notice that with the Adidas Terex, they have a lift right here. The Vans don't have that. There's a lift in the heel. So when I was transitioning from wearing my Vans to wearing Adidas Terex, that was very uncomfortable because of something that we call heel drop. And heel drop is how much your heel drops in the shoe. I think I could be explaining this wrong. If someone else knows better, correct me in the comments. But basically heel drop is how far your heel is up off the ground. And all of this is not part of the sole of the shoe. Well, it's part of the sole of the shoe, but you don't step down into any part of this. You're standing on top of that when you step on the ground in these shoes. So you're not actually making full contact with the ground with all of your toe, with all of your foot because the toe box down here is set lower to the ground than where your heels are back here. And if you look at the shoe like this sideways, you know, let me move my fingers. If you look at the shoe sideways, you can see that your foot is almost actually going to sit like this inside of the shoe. And that's pretty exaggerated, but that's an example. It would probably be something more like this. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of uncomfortable over time. And for 11 months of playing disc golf in a shoe like that, my feet have been hurting consistently, not extremely, but they've been hurting. So I was looking for an option to help me out a lot. And fortunately enough, I won the Eagle McMahon Vivo Barefoot giveaway, and I'm really happy with the results so far. And instead of trying to tell you guys all about them, why don't I just show them to you? Let me go grab them. All right, everybody. <laughs> these are Vivo Barefoot shoes, and at first glance, the soles of these shoes probably look pretty strange. Um, the sole encompasses all of the bottom of the shoe, all of the bottom. Your foot makes full contact with the ground, like your barefoot. Ah, barefoot style. That was probably really easy to figure out. Um, but yeah, look at, I've played disc golf in these for about two weeks and I've been wearing them every day for two weeks. I have not gone back to regular shoes. Um, 
But yeah, these shoes are awesome. They're great, they're comfortable. And in fact, if you look at them, you can kind of see that they actually look like a sock shoe that's kind of been combined with a hiking shoe. This bottom part down here is made out of suede and these down here are like kind of like um, just your regular gummy slash hard gritty, I don't know, whatever can take lots of abuse and still be okay. That's what these are made out of on the bottom. And then the laces of course are just, they're not in the way, they sit comfortably. You can tell if you tie them too tight, which is another thing you shouldn't do. Don't tie your laces too tight. And it's just a great all around shoe for walking outside, playing disc golf in, um, I have no complaints. So next, let's take a look at some of the shots that I've had in my Terex versus the shots that I take in my barefoot shoes. And I want you guys to pay attention to my feet and maybe my face because I might make some, I might wince a little bit because I have tried the Terex back on since I've been wearing the barefoot shoes and the Terex hurt my feet a lot. So let's check them out. I'll see you guys at the field. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back. We have made it out to the field. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three throws with the Adidas Terex on, and then we will do three throws with the Vivo barefoot shoes on. And what I'll do is after I've thrown three of each, after each shoe, I'll tell you how I think it feels and which one I like better and which one feels more comfortable. Um, this will be interesting because I haven't had my Adidas Terex on for two weeks, so let's see how it goes. All right, guys, I've got the camera set up a little bit lower to the ground so that it's easier for you to see my feet and that when I come back to talk to you guys about my feet, it'll be a little bit easier to see what I'm trying to tell you. For anyone that wants to know, I'm throwing all of the soles that I carry in my bag. I've got a Wonder Bread sole, a Kakashi from Naruto sole that I did, and then I got this sole uh, for my birthday from my grandmother. Thank you, Mamie. She's pretty awesome. You should always give lots of love to your grandmother. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm throwing, and let's just go ahead and get into it. So, with the Vivo barefoot shoes, I feel like I'm very in, in control. I feel all of the ground beneath me. I'm able to, I don't know if I, could, if I did it or not, but I'm able to think about that part of the X step where I plant my foot right here. And if you guys can see that, I'm making sure that I plant with my toes right there. And then that forces me to put my heel down so that when I whip my arm through, I stay on the heel of my foot instead of on the toes of my foot. Earlier I made that comment about on my Adidas Terex that my toes really, really, really got worn out on the bottom of that shoe. So that's what I'm thinking about and that's helping me wearing these, Bevo, these Vivo barefoot shoes. Um, planting toe first, then feeling all of my heel connect with the ground and then exploding through. Let's put on the Adidas Terex and see if they feel the same way. Spoiler alert, they won't. Alrighty guys, I've got the Adidas Terex on and right out of the gate, my feet are very uncomfortable because they feel like someone, like if this is my foot, this is what the shoe feels like. Like it's trying to compact and squish my foot and it's very uncomfortable. So we're gonna try to get through these quickly. Um, what I talked about with the heel drop earlier, um, I feel like I'm a good inch taller and that kind of throws me off now. That kind of feels weird. Um, so yeah, just pay attention to my feet and let's see how it goes. For these three shots, I'm gonna be throwing a P1, excuse me, P2, not P1. A P Model S with my Gengar, whose name is Edgar. And then one of my favorite throwing putters ever, the Wild Disc Hummingbird. Get yourself one. My code is Dolphin47.
Alrighty guys, that was very, very uncomfortable. Um, like I said, my feet feel squished. Um, I can't feel the ground at all. I can feel the rays on the bottom of the shoe. I can feel where it's lifting me up off the ground and it's not comfortable at all anymore. It's not comfortable. These used to be very comfortable and now my feet just feel very squished. Um, one thing I forgot to mention earlier, uh, the Vivo barefoot shoes have a wider toe box, which allows your feet to spread out like they're meant to. Um, a lot of common shoes these days, they the toe box is small or narrow, so your feet get squished and your toes actually end up doing this inside of your shoe and being able, instead of being able to like stretch out and breathe. Like imagine if we wore gloves all the time and it forced our hands to be like this. We just end up like Lego people walking around like this all the time. I don't want to do that. And I certainly don't want that for my feet. So the winner for me today is definitely the Vivo barefoot shoes. And I probably will be wearing barefoot shoes for the rest of my life. All right, everybody, we are back in the car because it's just chilly enough to where I don't want to stand outside and talk anymore. Um, that was a whole lot of fun for me. I don't get to do videos like this very often when it's not the summertime. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed this. I hope that you guys feel like maybe you could try out some barefoot shoes. Vivo is not the only brand that makes them. There's a ton of different brands of barefoot shoes out there. Um, off the top of my head, I know that Zero, uh, spelled X-E-R-O, uh, I think I've heard some pretty good reviews on those. And then I know the Merrill Vapor Gloves are also pretty popular. I think I've played with one or two people that wear Merrill Vapor Glove shoes. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, look into getting a pair of barefoot shoes for yourself. Uh, Vivo typically runs on the higher end in the price range, um, but I know that stuff like Zero or Merrill may be a little bit more affordable. Um, you guys just find what works for you. And maybe in the future, I'll be able to do my own Vivo barefoot giveaway. Um, as of right now, I want you guys to have a great week. I want you to go chase some aces and go find some more people for the Cinders Club. We're getting bigger. We've got 70 people now. That's that's wild. 70 people really are okay with seeing what I have to show them about disc golf. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate the support and it really means a lot to me. It makes me very happy to know that there are people that really enjoy the content that I put out. You guys have a great week. God bless. Go chase some aces.